Harper back after it. Terry Harper working away from Ganey, cleared it back to the Montreal end. Guy Lapointe played it right up into the crowd, trying to hit Houle with a pass over on the right wing. So the pickoff comes back inside the Montreal blue line. Scotty Bowman, who has been a highly successful coach with Montreal Canadiens, I think was as shocked as was his team and the crowd in Montreal's forum Wednesday night. Now both teams make changes in the big line of Lemaire, shot and Lafleur out for Montreal. Billy Lahan on the right wing, Paul Woods on the left. Now Billy Lahan and Steve Shutt vying for position go at it. And the two of them go down in a bit of a wrestling match. With Lahan on the bottom, neither really swung a punch. The two lines will move in between them very quickly. And neither of these two are what you call battlers normally. They were trying to move into position before the puck was dropped. And each holding the other off. And they'll both be heading in in a hurry. So we have penalties already at 34 seconds of this first period. Both those players would be just about eligible to win the Lady Bing for being the least penalized players in the league. It's kind of a surprise that they would get penalties in just a matter of 34 seconds. And someone throw out another octopi on the ice. Uh, this is going to just probably be carried off too, too much. They should yeah. have people at every corner. I guess they do. To well, there is a rule against throwing objects out onto the ice. Billy Lahad and uh, Steve Shutt were just battling for position, then Shutt came out with a left hand, gave Lahad a bit of a shove, and Lahad came right back at him, and the two of them both went to the ice. Oh, Shutt gets an extra two. So Shutt, who made the first move, gets four minutes for roughing. And Billy Lahad gets two, so the Wings get the first break on the first penalty. And the Canadians move out around referee John McCauley to argue the point a bit. So what it amounts to, each team will remain short a man for two minutes. And then when Lahad is due back on, the Red Wings will have the extra men. Detroit with Paul Woods and Dale McCourt, Reed Larson and Tommy Bergman. And the Canadians, they have Jarvis. He is up front along with Bob Ganey and Nyrop and LaPointe back along the Canadian defense. Play inside the Montreal blue line. McCourt won the draw. And it's Tommy Bergman clearing it in behind the Montreal net. Nyrop played it back of his own goal. LaPointe now out on the right side for Jarvis. He turns it deeper into his own zone and starts out with Nyrop. Bill Nyrop at center ice. Shooting it along the boards into the Detroit zone. Jarvis went into the corner after it. He bumped by Tony Bergman. Buck went to the opposite side. Reed Larson going into the corner after it. He was turned around by Jarvis. Plays it back of his own goal now to Tony Bergman. And the wings moving out of their own zone. Tony Bergman ahead to Wood. Coming out in the wrong wing. He dumps it into the corner. Deep in the Montreal zone. Goes in after it. In behind the Canadian goal. He was checked by Ganey. Now it's Guy Lapointe moving out ahead to Jarvis. The two of them on the move. And the Canadian player was dumped. Here, though, is Ganey picking up the loose puck in behind the Detroit net. Put it right out in front and Woods intercepts. Paul Woods, he's one-on-one -on -one with Nyrock. Takes the shot from the blue line, picks it up, and then lost it. As Ganey came back to break it up. Ganey was shoved off balance, fell down right at the Detroit blue line. Paul Woods with the loose puck, he and McCourt. Here's Dale McCourt from a line with a shot, and Dryden stopped it. McCourt fired another one, and Nyroff deflected it up into the crowd. We're going to have some noise here tonight if things continue just as manner. And Bruce, that's what the Wings have to continue to do, shoot the puck at this big fellow in the nets. Paul Woods should have shot the first rush that he come down instead of trying to get away around the outside. He was within 25 or 30 feet on an angle, and uh, you may as well test him. Thompson shot a backhand shot that went in between uh, Dryden and the post in Montreal. 45 seconds remaining in the penalty to Billy Lahad, and the Wings will have the extra man of all those according to plan. Now Netamaski and Libet are back on. Netamaski chasing Larry Robinson, but the big guy moves out to center ace. He's on the rush over the line into the Detroit zone. He brought it all the way to center ice. Almost lost it. 
Now it's Savard. Savard and Lemaire moving in. Savard tried to center it. Greg Jolly stopped it. Buck went right through the goal crease. Canadians have control. Savard bumped to the boards by Libet. They hold it there. Face off in the circle to the right of the Detroit goal. Serge Savard and Larry Robinson, when they're back along that Montreal defense, you have four attackers. And Savard is one of them. Savard tried to make the pass across the front of the goal mouth, and Jolly made a real good play, defensive play, by blocking the shot and knocking it behind the net. There are 13 seconds remaining in Billy Lahad's penalty. John McCauley is counting players actually right now he allowed Canadians to make a last uh, minute change or a last second change Dennis Hextall is out with Libet Larson and Hamel Lemaire and Lafleur for Canadians face off deep in the Detroit end Buck went right to the goal Lowe grabs it plays it off now to Reed Larson here's Nick Libet turning out dropping it off for Larson over on the left side Hextall brings it to center ice his pass Libet took it in but it's offside and as the play was whistled down, Billy Lahead comes out of the penalty box with exactly two minutes remaining in the penalty time, the second of the two minors to Steve Shutt. So now Detroit has the first power play opportunity of the hockey game. Well, including those three power play goals in the first period of the game at Atlanta, the Wings have scored four power play goals in their four uh, playoff games. And they've had 16 chances, Bruce, which is a pretty good percentage. Play came back to the Detroit zone, back after it, Dale McCord. Swinging in behind his own net, McCord winding up, coming out center ice, three-man rush for the Wings. Into the Montreal zone, McCord a shot right on. Oh, and Dryden came up with a big save on that one. Now Canadians move out. Rajan Houle at center ice. He just got it to the Detroit line, and Larson takes it there. Larson, a left wing pass. Libet back into the Canadian zone. Pulled up at the line. Put it out in front, but it's Larry Robinson who intercepts. Hands it to Savard. And the Canadian search Savard. Played it back into the Detroit end, and Larson is back after it. A minute 20 remaining in the Canadian penalty. Now it's Larson starting out. Larson pulling up at his own blue line. Center ice to Hextall into the Montreal zone. Hextall to the corner, put it right to the goal mouth, and Dryden knocked it away. Ganey took it off the boards and scoops it back to the Detroit blue line. A minute remaining in the Detroit power play. Reed Larson, he was checked at the line. Hextall picks it up, shot it into the Montreal zone. Canadians shoot it all the way back down the ice. And it goes in behind Ron Lowe. He drops it for Dale McCourt. McCourt plays it back now to Larson. The wings move out again. Here's Larson to San Laurent. They go in, and Errol Thompson coming down the left wing just a stride ahead of the play, offside. So 41 seconds remain in the penalty time to Steve Shot of Montreal. No score in the game, and we have played just less than four minutes of the first period. Dale McCourt went right down the middle. He delayed just a little bit before he got over the line, and it caused an offside play, but he fired the puck the time before when he went down. Now it's Dennis Polanich. San Laurent Thompson for the wings. Puck comes back to Thompson at center ice. It's played over on the right side. McCourt went in after it. He failed to get it through. It bounced right into the Montreal bench, and they'll bring the face off out over the Canadian blue line. And there are 32 seconds remaining. And the penalty to shut. Jarvis, a penalty killer, along with Ganey, Lapointe, and Savard. San Laurent won the draw, but it got by McCord and slides all the way back into the Detroit end. In behind his own goal again is McCourt. Detroit with the extra man as McCourt heads out. Dale McCourt coming out center ice. His pass off the skate of Thompson. Thompson picks it up. And then he played it behind McCourt. McCourt goes back to the Detroit line to get it. Now Tony Bergman. Bergman slid it into the Canadian zone. Goes in after it. San Laurent in the corner. Put it right out in front. It came back toward the line. Greg Jolly kept it in. 
It goes into the corner again. Dennis Polonich battling for it. Gets it loose to San Laurent. Back to Polonich off the side of the Canadian net. Back along the circle now to Andre San Laurent. Now to Polonich. Polonich put it out in front. Here's Tommy Bergman at the line with a weak shot that went wide. Came off the boards and Dryden grabs it. Now Guy Lapointe and Polonich threaten to go at it, and they do. And Dennis Polonich landed a quick right hand to Guy Lapointe. Now Lapointe comes back with a heavy right hand of his own. And the two of them have a hold on each other now. This off to the side of the net. Now Dennis Polonich got the right hand loose. He pounded it in, and Lapointe came back with a right of his own. Polonich has the jersey down over Lapointe now and starts swinging away. Lapointe can't see a thing. So the two linesmen move in in a hurry and draw a stop to that. I've said it, Bruce, a dozen times. Dennis Polonich will take a back step to no one. He, he's willing to throw punches with anyone. LaPointe is a gain as big as Polonich, but uh, I'd say Dennis got as many good punches in. So a pause in the action. No score in the game. We'll be back in just a moment. I believe that they have given Dennis Polonich an extra two minutes. Well, I would think he took the first swing, Bruce, and uh, they give Shutt an extra two minutes because he started the little fracas with Lahit with La a while ago. So uh, I would think he probably got two and five, and LaPointe will get five. We have played four minutes and 50 seconds. A penalty to Steve Shutt. The second of his two minors is all over. So that means that the Red Wings now will play short a man. The major penalties to Polonich and Lapointe will offset one another. But then Lapon, uh, uh, rather Polonich, uh, draws an extra minor penalty. Coach Bobby Crom looking on. And the a little quiet right now. So Polonich picks up an extra two minutes for roughing. And the Red Wings play short a man. Now the Canadians have their power play chance. Time of the penalties, four minutes, 50 seconds of this, the first period. Here's Jacques Lemaire moving out center ice. Pass on the right side. Larry Robinson scooped it in behind the Detroit net. Ron Lowe stopped it there. Tommy Bergman wheeled it along the boards. Kept in at the point by Savard. Puck came right out in front. There's a quick shot wide of the net by Lemaire. Dug out of the corner, but taken away from LaRouche and shot down the ice by Dale McCord. Pierre LaRouche did not play the first two games for Montreal. He's out there now in the power play. Larry Robinson in behind his own goal. Clearing it off to Savard. Now Lemaire dropping it back to Larry Robinson coming out center ice. Robinson on the move into the Detroit zone and Tommy Bergman bumped him off the puck. Paul Woods picked it up, played it off to the side of his net. Still didn't work it out, but he does slide it to Harper. And Terry Harper skates it to the blue line and then shoots it down the ice. A minute left in Polonich's minor penalty. Serge Savard circling in behind Ken Dryden in the Montreal net. Now Savard starts out rather carefully. Cleared it on the left wing to Lemaire. A long pass on the right side. It was stopped at the line. And then LaRouche's pass broken up again by Paul Woods. And the wings bang it to center ace. Larry Robinson takes it there. It's cleared back into the Detroit zone. Harper going in after it. He failed to get it out. Lafleur's pass though broken up by Paul Woods. And Harper follows up and slides it back into the Montreal zone. 20 seconds left in the penalty. Canadians with the extra man, no score. We played six and a half minutes of the first period. Paul Woods intercepts at center ice. Shoots it back into the Montreal end. Canadians winding up again. Here's Steve Shutt. He's on the move. Right wing pass to Lafleur. John Hamel and he go to the corner. Hamel took him into the boards and goes in back of the net. Paul Woods is bumped heavily. The play came right out in front. Penalty is over, and the puck bounces out to center ice. Dennis Hall, who was serving Polonich's minor penalty, missed it at the blue line. Canadians sweep it back into the Detroit zone. Steve Shutt bumped in along the boards by Harper. Dale McCord, a good move away from Cornwallier. Got Hall over the line, a drop pass for Woods. And his shot went right into the pads of defenseman Brian Englund, who stopped it out in front of Dryden. So a pause in the action. No score in the game. We'll be back in a moment. 
Well, you no score in the game. We've played seven minutes, 13 seconds of the first period. Play is in the Canadian zone. Dennis Hextall put it out in front. It bounced away, though, and here's Doug Jarvis picking it up. Back down the ice into the Detroit zone. He dropped it for Chartraw, and Hamel moved in, knocked Chartraw down, took it away. John Hamel, good quick pass to Milibet, out center ice to Nedemanski, left side to Hextall. Into the Montreal zone, that puck bounced to center ice. Going after it, Chartraw, he and Ganey. And the play was whistled down by the referee, McCauley, who is, I believe, going to call a Montreal penalty. And the Red Wings are going to again have the extra man as Chartraw goes in. So again, a pause in the action. No score. We'll be back in just a moment. Rick Chartraw is off for interference at 7 minutes, 38 seconds of this first period. You know, Bruce, he was a little put out because when he had a chance down in the Detroit zone, Hamel took him out of the play and knocked him down. And he's that type of hockey player. He come right back down and got a cheap penalty. Now Reed Larson firing it in behind the Montreal goal. It rolls to the corner. Libet went after it. Hextall got it loose. Libet held it in the corner. Back of the Montreal net to Hextall. Nedemanski holds it in the circle. Took the shot. They score! Nick Libet! Libet got it in. And the Red Wings lead one to nothing on the power play goal. Beautiful play by Metamansky. He spotted Libet coming in from the corner of the net. Nobody covered Libet at all. The pass went right through the goal crease, and he just put a stick down. It was in so fast that Dryden had never made a move. Hextall, I think, was the one that made the play out to Metamansky. Metamansky let on he was going to shoot the puck, spotted Libet, made the perfect pass through the goal crease, and Libet just tipped it in. Crowd reaction. Everybody's on their feet. with Octopi, if you will, and a couple of Frisbees, no less. I think the media, and I guess we'd have to blame ourselves as much as anything else, has more or less encouraged this. And uh, I think it can be overdone. Sir. Well, it is being overdone, Bruce. You know, years ago, I know there was this one family here in Detroit that made a habit of bringing down an Octopi or two for Stanley Cup playoff time, and it got to be quite a deal. The first ones, if I know I have the story right, Somebody threw octopi or an octopus on the ice the year that the Wings won eight straight games. I guess the, these things have eight tentacles, and uh, that was a symbol of the eight straight games. But since that time, they just keep flooding them now. Yeah, and it's something I think they're going to have to prohibit just a bit. Uh, because it's just going to take too long to play these hockey games. We'll be here all night if this continues because uh, the game now actually is 40 minutes old and we have only played eight minutes or not quite eight minutes. Nick Libet got the power play goal from Nedemanski and Hextall, 7.54. Beautiful play by Nedemanski. Detroit Red Wings are number one and underneath in very small letters and the Tigers. And a sign being moved around Olympia Stadium here. Olympia has become the home of a lot of signs in the last month or two. Now Andre San Laurent, Rick Bonas out on the right wing. And on the left side is Daryl Thompson. Dennis Polanich remains in the penalty box, serving the remainder of his five-minute penalty. He and LaPointe off together. Serge Savard back in his own blue line. And there's going to be a penalty coming up to Detroit now as Bonas had knocked shut down for some reason. As the Wings get the play, Bonas is going to go right off. He just got on the ice. It took him a couple of seconds to take care of shut, which was not exactly what Bobby Crom had in mind, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure that Bobby Crom will be a little 
disturbed about this penalty, not at the referee, at Mr. Bonas, because when he's out there, he's out to do a job on shut, but not to take a penalty when the play is not anywhere near shut. These are what you call real cheap penalties and the kind that hurt a hockey club. Puts the wings uh, back to work, uh, wearing out, say, Paul Woods and Dale McCourt now trying to kill a penalty that, and the Canadians have a very potent power play. They did not have a shot, though, on their last power play opportunity, which uh, kind of surprises me. Bonas is off for elbowing at 8.05 on a penalty really uncalled for. Larry Robinson put it right out in front, and it was Terry Harper that deflected the shot of Lemaire up into the crowd. And they used up seven seconds of the penalty time to Bonas, elbowing at 8.05, and that was just uh, 11 seconds after Libet had scored on a Detroit power play. Red Wings have been rather successful in killing off penalties. This will be the 12th power play they have faced. They gave up only that one power play goal while they were short two men. And Montreal short one in the game at the Forum Wednesday night. Dale McCord in against Lemaire. Puck came back to the line. Larry Robinson the shot wide of the goal. Along the boards, Paul Woods and Steve Shutt go after it. They hold it there. And as Lambert got into it with a hands up high, they whistled the play dead, and a face-off will stay in the circle to the left of Ron Lowe. Dennis Hextall will come out to take the face-off, so he and Paul Woods will be the penalty killers up front with Harper and Tom, or rather, uh, Tommy Bergman. Canadians have Lemaire shot and Lambert. With Lafleur and Robinson at the points, Puck was stopped at the right point. Lafleur let a shot go, deflected over the top of the Detroit goal. Kept in by Larry Robinson. Lambert dug it out of the corner. Robinson back at the blue line with it. Robinson fired a shot. That was knocked down out in front. Here's Steve Shutt. He scores! And just like that, a penalty and a bad one has hurt the Red Wings as Canadians take advantage of it and tie the game. The Montreal players, to a man, come off the bench to congratulate their team. Now, that's unusual, too. Uh, the entire team come on the ice. Steve Shutt does not know that he scored the goal because he got knocked down just as he went to shoot. He was tangled in, the, in a stick, but his shot caught the glove hand side about halfway up, just inside the post. It was an excellent shot. I think one of the reasons that it went high like that, it went off the broken stick. I think so, too. It was tangled with the broken stick that was on the ice, and that gave it the momentum to get up halfway up the net. So Steve Shutt has his second goal uh, of the playoffs. Lambert and uh, Robinson draw the assist on the power play goal that ties the game. Here are the wings going back in the Canadian zone. Metamansky took a shot. It went just wide. Dumped out along the boards by Mondu. The puck all the way back into the Detroit zone, and Greg Jolly back after it. Now Jolly goes in behind his own net. Jolly turning out on the right side. He's got Al Cameron. Cameron coming out center ice. Long pass to Hextall. He carried back in, handed it to Netta Mansky. He threw a blind pass, and Cornoyer came in and shot that back to the Detroit blue line. Greg Jolly clearing it in behind the Montreal goal again as Larry Robinson goes back after it. Now a quick pass bounced away from Mondu. Cameron picked it up high in the air, bounced it back to the Montreal zone. Larry Robinson heads right back out. Mondu shot it to the Detroit blue line. Here now is Hextall moving into the Canadian end, trying to work out in front. And he was pretty much by himself, and the puck trickled into the corner. Canadians Mondu lost it at center ice. And there is another penalty coming up as referee John McCauley is going to wave a Canadian player off. As Houle will go in. And so again, there is a pause in the action. The score tied at 1-1, and we'll be back in a moment. Well, Mr. Houle picks up, a, I would say, probably a cheap penalty, too. His team just got tied, and he comes by and just grabs a hold of Errol Thompson. Uh... Uh, he must have got a stick up that at him, was too. A, that was the wrong player, though. I believe it was Poole uh, that went in, and Mondu, he just uh, looked like he was the one that grabbed on. It was a high-sticking call. Here the wings lose control. Jarvis picks it up, puts it right out in front. And Ron Lowe had to come in to stop Ganey, who was wide open in front of Ron Lowe. 
Low made the save. Now it's San Laurent coming back into the Montreal zone. Wheeling it in behind the Canadian net. It's cleared along the boards and fired all the way down the ace. Cool off for high sticking at 9 minutes 56 seconds. Play goes in behind the Detroit goal. Reed Larson in after it. Now Larson starts out. On the left side, it comes now to Thompson. He carried into the Detroit zone, into the corner, Reed, or rather in the Canadian zone. Reed Larson bumped off the puck. In behind the net, dug away by Nedimansky. Back to San Laurent, the shot. A big save, Nedimansky, the rebound, and Dryden knocked that away. And the Canadians lift it down the ice as the Wings had two big chances. Nine minutes to go in the first period. 50 seconds remaining in the Detroit power play. Game tied at 1-1. Nedimansky. A long pass center ice to San Laurent. He played it too far in front of Libet. Nick Libet went digging after it. Dryden came out of the net to play it away from him. And the puck cleared the length of the ice. Yeah, by Lemaire. Now here's Dale McCourt heading back for Detroit. Dale McCourt held up at center ice, cleared it into the Canadian zone. Ball Woods picks it up, cutting out in front. Dryden stops him, and the puck lying loose out in front of the net is fired back to the Detroit line as Woods made quite an effort. Wings pick it up again. Woods at his own blue line, dropping it off for Greg Jolly. Jolly hands it off to Dale McCourt. Now McCourt turns away from the check of Lemaire. He played it to Jolly. Jolly carries into the Montreal zone. Here's Jolly. Tried to shoot it. He did. He got a piece of the post with it, actually. Hextall centered it. Livid goes ripping into the corner after it. They bang in along the boards. Penalty to hold is over. And the play comes back into the Detroit zone. The mayor going after it. And coming back, it was Jolly that broke it up. Canadians pick it up again, clearing it into the Detroit zone. And the play goes in behind the Detroit net. Jolly worked his way away from one man, comes out center ice. Jolly stick handles his way into the Canadian end. It goes in behind the Montreal net. Nyroff in after, being checked by ahead. Canadians Cornwallier, though. Here's a two-on-one rush. Canadians over the line. Riceboro a shot. And a big save by Lowe as he knocked that away. Buck along the boards, and it's Billy Lahad dumping it out center ice. Game tied at 1-1. Seven minutes, 15 seconds to go in the first period. Larry Robinson tied up by Hextall. The puck picked up by Risebro. He shoots it back into the Detroit end with Tommy Bergman back after it. Now Bergman's pass it went off the glass. Down the ice into the Canadian end with Nyrock back after it. He cleared it over Lambert's stick. A quick pass to San Laurent. He was checked by Robinson. Now Harper back to San Laurent. He wound up with a shot. Dryden knocks that away. Larry Robinson took it off the board. Shot it out center ice. Tommy Bergman clearing it back in. Now Robinson starts back out again. He was stopped by Billy Lahad. Now it's the wings moving with San Laurent. Puck dumped into the corner. San Laurent goes in after it. It was taken away by LaRouche. LaRouche cleared it to Cornway. Now the three Canadian players whip it into the Detroit zone. It went all the way to Ronnie Lowe. He cleared it, not out. And a shot blocked by Hamel. Picked up now by Libet. And Nick Libet turns deeper into his own zone. Played it back out center ice. The point will bring it right back in for Montreal. He shoved off the puck by Hamel. It stayed in LaRouche. Let a shot go wide. Here's Steve shot after it. Dumped it out in front. It's picked up by LaFleur. Back on the line. Elmblom with a shot that went wide. And Le uh, rather, Libet goes after it. He's going to shoot at the length of the ice. And there will be an icing call against Detroit as the Canadians are pressing. And we have just less than six minutes to go here in the first period of a 1-1 tie. And that's the first pressure that the Canadians have put on at all, Bruce. And it was a, a case where they got their de two defensemen moved inside the blue line. And they use the man back at the point. Every opportunity they get, they get it back and then try to run a screen across in front of the net. And they have uh, Engblom and these fellows, LaPointe, Robinson. They can all shoot the puck well and they shoot. Hope that somebody can either deflect it or screen the goaltender. Dale McCourt now with Polonich on the right side and Harold Thompson on the left. Play goes in behind the Detroit net, dumped along the boards. They bumped into the referee, shut and Polonich. And now Hamel gets into it. They have the puck trapped between them and the face off stays to the right of the Detroit net. One one tie, each team with a power play goal. Nick Libet of the Wings and Steve Shutt of Montreal. Canadians coming out now with Houle and Ganey on either side of Lemaire. 
Detroit, Dale McCourt, Lahead and Wood. Harper, John Hamel. Buck came back. There's a quick shot by Hool that deflected into the corner. Woods went in after it, and he drove it all the way down the ice. So again, the wings are going to be called for icing, and the faceoff will come right back into the Detroit zone. Bobby Crom in behind the Detroit bench. He had to be a little unhappy with a rather bad penalty taken by the wings, and it resulted in the Montreal goal. Face off the circle to the left side of Ron Lowe. When Shutt fired the shot, there was a broken stick right in front of him, and it went in off the broken stick, actually, but it went high into the net, and a good play by Shutt. Wings clear it now to Billy Lahad. He's still deep in his own zone. He left the puck behind him, didn't know where it was. He's still having trouble with Hool. John Amell tried to cover up. Lahad finally picks it up. He slid it ahead, and there's going to be a penalty coming up to Hool again. As he was working on Lahad, and the Wings are getting every break in the world penalty-wise. And Hool is really giving it to the referee. So we'll be back in just a moment. Well, John, John McCauley is calling things real close. Who will just give the Detroit player Lahead a push from behind into the boards? He didn't uh, knock him down or anything. I was kind of surprised that he'd call a penalty, but he is calling them very close, keeping these two teams in line. So who goes off at 14 minutes, 39 seconds? Play is back into the Detroit zone. They jam it along the boards. It was knocked loose. John Amell swings it over on the left side. They gave each player a penalty. Billy Lahead went off, too. I didn't even notice that one, Sid. Nor did Although I. We're talking about a few other things. So each team is short a man. Now they're in behind the Detroit goal. John Amell. He played it back to the line, but not out. Here's Lafleur digging after it. He took it to the side. Paul Woods knocked it off his stick, and John Amell goes in behind his own goal to get it. Each team short a man. Now it's Dale McCord. McCord's pass to Harper, center ice to Woods. Paul Woods and McCord. McCord over the line. A bouncing puck. They called it offside. So they'll come back out over the Canadian blue line for the faceoff. We have four minutes, 39 seconds still to go. In the first period, the game is tied at 1-1. Each team playing short a man for a minute and 18 seconds. Andre San Laurent. He is on now with Harold Thompson and Tommy Bergman and Reed Larson, Lafleur and Lemaire, Robinson and Savard. Puck tipped back into the Montreal end. It'll not go far enough for an icing. Savard has to hurry back after it. Shot it back out at the center ice zone. Harold Thompson plays it. Handing it off now to Tommy Bergman back at the Detroit line to Larson at center ice. Larson played it off a skate off to the side of the Montreal net. Dryden came out of the goal. He cleared it to Lemaire. Now here's Lafleur. He's one on one with Tommy Bergman and Robinson coming up. And that puck was just tipped away from Lafleur, or the Canadians were dangerous. Larry Robinson carries into the Detroit zone, trying to work around Reed Larson. He hands it off to Lafleur. Lafleur put it out in front. Tommy Bergman knocked it away. Here's Robinson with it, handing it back to Lafleur. Or rather, Lemaire back at the blue line now. Jacques Lemaire playing it into the corner in the Detroit end. Lafleur dug it out there, turned with it back on the line to Larry Robinson with a shot. Oh, and Ron Lowe looking one way, still stopped it. Looking in the opposite direction. Pretty pass from Robinson to Savard. Savard back on the line. Robinson with another shot that goes wide. Now Lafleur, and it's all Montreal. Lafleur in the circle with it. He hands it off now to Larry Robinson. Put it out in front. And that puck went right under Tommy Bergman, who was sliding to the ice. And the penalties are over to Lahad and Hool. And I'll tell you, Canadians did everything, but go ahead. I think the one shot, Bruce, where Low was looking one way and the puck came out the other, I think it went by him and hit the post, come across behind him and stayed out of the net. It's just a case, Big Robinson back, way back in the point, shot it over a, a person that was, it did hit the post and come out the other side through the open side. I think it was deflected out in front of him, too, out in front of Ron Lowe. Took a bit of an angle. So face off in the circle to the right of the Detroit goal. Three minutes, 18 seconds to go in the first period, a 1-1 tie. Canadians have been coming on, though. Here's Cornway back on the line. Nairoff a shot wide of the net. 
Nick Libet took it off the board, didn't get it out. It was kept in. Another shot from the blue line. That one by Ganey knocked away. Libet checked on the play. Hextall taken to the boards by Jarvis. Cornway back on the line. LaPointe with a shot. That went wide. Still, the Canadians keep the play in the Detroit zone, and finally it's tipped off to center ice by Greg Jolly. Canadians take it there. Bill Nyrop playing it now to Ganey. He wheels it back into the Detroit zone. In behind his own goal, Ron Lowe played it away from his own man. And the Canadians take it again. Dennis Hextall checking. And he finally dug it off the boards. The Canadians keep it in again. They roll it in behind the Detroit net, and Al Cameron in after it. Cameron trying to work it out. He played it ahead. Nick Libet finally takes it to the boards. Now a rink-wide pass to Jolly coming out center ice. Jolly got it over the line. Hextall giving chase to it. It went off Jolly's skate. And the Canadians have it in their own zone. Knocked away. Here's Hextall. He played it to Paul Woods. Metamansky with a shot. And Dryden somehow got to that and made the save as Metamansky had a great opportunity. He was open and Dryden stopped him cold. Well, Bruce, it shows that the Canadians will make mistakes in their own zone. Uh, they just give the puck away. Hextall come up with it. He was going to shoot and he decided to get in a little closer and he was partially checked. But when the puck came back to Metamansky, he had a, just a golden opportunity. And big Dryden made probably his biggest save of the series because Metamansky was dead out in front of the net. Had a golden opportunity to put the wings ahead. So they'll keep the face off in the circle to the right of the Montreal goal. Game is tied at one to one. Each team with a power play effort. It was unreal the way... The play come over to Netamansky and Dryden. I don't know. He, it was a screenshot right along the ice. How he got to it, I don't know. Now the puck cleared out to center ice by Canadians. Dale McCourt back after it. Shot it back into the Montreal end with Savard in after it. He plays it now to Larry Robinson. Robinson shot it into the Detroit zone. Le Maire checked by Hamel. The puck goes still in the Detroit end. Robinson with a shot deflected to the corner. Paul Woods went in after it. Lafleur bumped him heavily. They go in along the boards. Canadians have control. Back on the line to Savard. Serge Savard playing it in behind the Detroit net. Hamel had shut all tied up, but here's Robinson with it. Larry Robinson pulled to the ice by Billy Lahad. The puck is underneath Robinson, and they stop the play. Face off will remain in the Detroit end to the right side of Ron Lowe. And the Canadians have come to life, I'd say, in the last five, six minutes. Right. The first 12 or 13 minutes of the game, the Wings were the ones that were carrying the puck, had several golden opportunities. They've had a couple chances lately, but the Canadians are the ones that are putting the pressure on. They're moving everyone inside the Detroit zone, causing the Wings to make mistakes coming out, trying to make their, uh, their first pass coming out of their own zone. Referee John McCauley ruled that it was Robinson that had stopped the play. Took it outside the net. Puck came right out in front of the Detroit goal. Then Lambert was stopped from point blank range by Lowe. Play in the Detroit zone. Paul Woods took a whack at it. He got it out to center ice. And Houle quickly back after it. Now Larry Robinson's pass to Lambert. Billy Lahead lost it. It's picked up out in front. Mondu. His shot is blocked. The rebound shot knocked away. Houle let it go and Lowe made the save. They go in behind the Detroit goal. Terry Harper trying to hold it to the board. There is a lot of shoving and pushing going on, but Harper was making no move to play the puck, and the referee is calling penalties. Jolly and Lambert were at close range, and I believe the two of them are going off. I was a little bit worried about Harper. Yes, I thought Harper may get a puck for deliberately delaying the game, but he, he did move the puck a couple inches at one time. He had a stick up under his arm. He couldn't get the stick down on the ice. So Jolly and Lambert started a little wrestling match right off to the next to them, and uh, they're the ones that are getting the penalties. Time of the penalties will be 19 minutes and one second. No, I'm sorry, 1859. Well, referee McCauley is calling him close. I would think Lambert. Bruce, I would think of the three games, uh, the first two games in Montreal. The Canadians appeared as though they come out this game and try, would try to be a little more physical than they were in Montreal. Uh, I noticed they've been running at Paul Woods and the uh, fellows in Billy Lahead, the, the real speedsters on the wings, probably to take some of the speed away from them. Call them roughing penalties. Lambert and Jolly, they were shoving around a bit. One minute and one second still to play. In the first period, the game is a tie, one to one. Nick Libet on the power play, and then Steve Shutt got a power play goal less than a minute later. 
Nedimansky and Hextall now for the wings. Larson and Tommy Bergman. Jarvis and LaFleur. Puck goes to the corners. Hextall won the draw. Tommy Bergman played it to the opposite corner to Reed Larson. His pass tipped out center ice and back after it, Larry Robinson. He rolled it back into his own zone. And LaPointe had to come back quickly to cover up. Wings shoot it back into the Montreal end. Turning with it is LaFleur. Billy Lahead will be joining Sidney Abel between the first and second periods of this hockey game. Here's a flip shot from center ice by LaFleur. Ron Lowe handles it, dropped it behind the net. Reed Larson went back to get it. Jarvis has him all tied up. And finally, Larson pulled away from him. Handed it to Hextall, and Dennis Hextall shot it out center ice. It's played right back into the Detroit zone. Tommy Bergman heads out with it. Now Tommy Bergman turned back to his own blue line. 15 seconds to go in the period. Hextall was checked. The puck is knocked into the Canadian end. Going in after it, Guy Point. The point sent it ahead to Larry Robinson. He's turned around. Four seconds remaining, and Robinson just eating up time now. Hands it to Lemaire, and the buzzer goes to end the first period. So we have played one period of hockey for here at the Olympia Stadium in Detroit with a score the Detroit Red Wings won and the Montreal Canadiens won. From the faceoff, play into the Montreal zone. San Laurent goes into the corner, trying to work away from Jarvis. Jarvis has them all tied up. Finally hauled him to the ice. Puck dug away. It came out in front. Here come the Canadians out with it. A two-man rush by Ganey. And he's got LaPointe with him. Ganey over the line. Fired a shot that's way wide. It came back. Kept in at the line by Jarvis. His shot was blocked, though. And John Amell turns in his own zone. Along the boards on the right side, Harper just shot it down the ice. And they're going to whistle it an icing. And as LaPointe is back after it, the whistle stops the play. They'll come back into the Detroit end for the faceoff. We have a few signs up here that uh, I don't think it'd be even proper to talk about, Sid. There are a lot tonight, I'll say that. Uh, some of them are real cute. There are others that uh, possibly shouldn't be up on the facade at all. And we're just seeing the, the one side. Yeah, that's uh, right. Which I, may be just as good. <laughs> right. But they're hanging from the rafters here again tonight. Uh, each game that is played seems to set a new record. Uh, there was some talk that the Olympia themselves do that. The people are here, and uh, they just add a few more to show that the record isn't broken. But they do have an awful lot of people here tonight. So now it's Dennis Hextall, Nedimansky for Detroit, the two Detroit forwards. The puck played behind the Detroit net. Terry Harper goes digging into the corner after it. Didn't get it out. It's kept in by Larry Robinson. John Amell will try. He digs it out of the corner. Riseboro takes him in. They hold it in along the boards. Still kicking away at it. And the whistle stops the play again. And the faceoff stays to the right side of Ron Lowe. And we have one second remaining in the penalties of Lambert, Montreal, Jolly of Detroit. Nick Libet comes out now. He replaces Nedimansky over on the left side of the line. After the puck is dropped in the Detroit zone, the penalties will be over. Teams will be back at full strength. Here's Harper. He played it off the skate of Hextall. Now the pass from Libet just did escape Jolly, who had come out of the penalty box and couldn't get to it. Libet kept it in. Here's Jolly. Jolly fires a shot, and it went just wide over the corner. Puck bought back out by Canadians here, two on one. They take it into the Detroit zone. Pass got away, though, and Hamel went in to cover up. He lost it. It came out in front, but Harper played it off now to Hextall. Center ice to Libet. Libet over the line. He took the shot. Dryden grabbed that, and he drops it off for Robinson. Now the Canadians start back. Over the line, Riseboro coming up. Cornwaye. Cornwaye was checked from behind by Libet. Libet went crashing into the Detroit net, and the net came off the pipes down there. But I'll tell you, Nick Libet made some kind of a defensive play when he came back. Bruce, he's one of the better defensive hockey players in the league. He's also had a good year offensively for the Wings, but everybody in the league talks about Nicky Libet's ability to kill penalties go up and down with his man he uh, is just as if he's on a rope he doesn't wander from his position at all all night long and he just come down he had cornwire tied up all the way and uh, he stumbled and fell into the net luckily ron low is there to protect him otherwise the uh, players can be injured quite badly doing that late night have been so lucky for ron low he was shaken up a little bit but seemingly is okay now ron low has had 
uh, problems with a knee too and uh, it hasn't acted up very much here during the playoffs but uh, a little jolt like that sometimes is just what would make it flare up again. Game is tied at 1-1 Montreal and Detroit to face off to the left of the Red Wing goal. Dennis Hextall with Libet and Nedimanski and now Reed Larson and Tommy Bergman back along the defense. And this time Rajan Hool and Libet moved too quickly before the puck was dropped and they'll go through it again. It's Mondu at center ice, Lambert on the left wing, and Hool on the right side. Scotty Bowman is not one to stay with set units. Buck came all the way to the blue line. Savard took a shot. Hextall blocked it and sent right back in. Here's Hool trying to center it. Mondu got a stick on it. Nedimanski took it away. Ahead to Hextall. He played it behind Libet. Libet, when digging after it, picks it up at center ice, brings it back to his own blue line. Now Nick Libet winding up. He pulled away from Rajan Hool over the line and Hextall went in too quickly and it's offside. So the play comes back out over the Montreal line. And we have played two minutes and two seconds of the second period of a 1-1 tie. Dale McCord, Paul Woods and Billy Lahead now for the wings. Tommy Bergman and Reed Larson. And the Canadians move out now with Mondu, Hool and this time Ganey over on the left side of the line. And that's enough for the wings. Uh, Bobby Crum comes right back with a unit of his own. San Laurent, Thompson, and Polanich. As he has been playing the kid line of Detroit. McCourt, Woods, Lahad against the Lafleur line of Montreal. Plays at center ice. Errol Thompson couldn't control it there. Mondu picks it up. Swings it back into the Detroit end. A bouncing puck. Reed Larson played it behind his own goal. Tommy Bergman lost it though. Here's Ganey. He played it out in front. Mondu has it. And his shot deflected by Larson away from the Detroit goal. Dennis Polonich bumped in along the board. San Laurent gets into it. They hold it. The rim of the circle on the right of the Detroit net. And Dennis Polonich and Ganey. As they've got gloves in each other's face. And Dennis Polonich has to reach up about three feet to get his glove in the face of Ganey. And the milling of players broken up in a hurry as referee John McCauley stands back to watch it all. The face off with no penalties called will be in the rim of the circle off to the right side of Ron Lowe. San Laurent, Polonic, and Thompson. The Red Wings are the second most penalized team in the National Hockey League during the regular season. They are the least penalized, or at least were, coming into this game in the playoffs. Now here's San Laurent coming out center ice. He scoops it into the Montreal end. Dryden stopped it in behind his own net played it. It's kept in by Thompson in the corner. San Laurent back of the goal. Polonic bumped to the boards by Guy Lapointe. They jam it in behind the Montreal net this time and hold it. And we'll have a face off to the right of the Canadian net. And Polonic and Lapointe again have the gloves up high. They went off together earlier in the hockey game. That thing seemed to be all right this time. As Big Nyrob, Bill Nyrob is in there too. Uh, this is his first game in this series. Uh, while we were in Montreal, they talked about independ uh, appendicitis that he might That's right. So there's a pause in the action. The game tied 1-1. We'll be back in just a moment. From here at Detroit's Olympia Stadium, we have played 2 minutes 47 seconds of the second period. The Detroit Red Wings won. The Montreal Canadiens won. Now the line of Dale McCourt, Woods and Lahead out for Detroit. Jarvis stays out to center, but he's got Lafleur on one wing. Puck came back to the line. Larson fired a shot, and Dryden reached up and grabbed that one. And the faceoff stays still in that same circle to the left of the Montreal net. And now Scotty Bowman sends out his two regular line mates for Guy Lafleur as Lemaire and Shutt come out. So Lemaire will take the face off against McCourt. Play stays deep in the Montreal end. McCourt won the draw. Larson didn't get anything on the shot. It just bounced to the net again. And Dryden reached down and held on to it again. Larson, uh, after McCourt had won the draw cleanly, had a good opportunity, but he just didn't get anything on the shot, and it just kind of bounded up there. Now they're the first chances he's had, I think. Right. Bruce, he snapped the first one. It was a little high. Uh, this one, I think, was bouncing on him, and he didn't get the wood to it properly. 
But he's a young man that can fire that puck. Oh, yes. uh, I'd like to see it come back cleanly to him again. Now again, McCourt in against Lemaire, and they whistle down the faceoff as two or three of the players had moved in too quickly. Game is a 1-1 tie. We've had no reports out of Toronto or Chicago over the Islanders in Toronto and Boston and Chicago. McCourt won the draw again. Reed Larson dumped a shot. That deflected in behind the net. Guy Lapointe played it back to the line. Tommy Bergman couldn't keep it in. Here come the Canadians out. Lemaire over the line into the Detroit zone. And he was stopped by Larson, but Lafleur took it away. In behind the Detroit net. Lafleur a centering pass, and Larson was out in front to break it up. Now to Billy Lahad. Lahad couldn't reach the pass. Canadians Nyrop takes it. Nyrop's pass broken up center ice by Tommy Bergman. Paul Woods chased it back into the Montreal end. Lifted it in behind the Canadian goal. Went chasing after Nyrop. He bumped him off the puck. Tommy Bergman, though, couldn't control it. And coming back quickly, McCourt takes it at his own blue line. Dale McCourt's pass to Lahad. Now Lahad starts right back for Detroit into the Montreal zone. It was knocked away by Lapointe. And cleared back out center ice with Al Cameron after it. Cameron's pass got away from Paul Woods. That's going far enough for an icing call. And they'll bring it back into the Detroit end. We have played three minutes, 51 seconds of the second period. The game remains tied at 1-1. On power play goals, Nick Libet of Detroit and Steve Shutt of Montreal. San Laurent, Thompson, and Polonich move out. Now here comes Hextall to take the face off. Off to the left of Ron Lowe as Polonich goes back to the Detroit bench. LaRouche, who has played rather sparingly, is centering now for Ganey and Houle for Montreal. Wing San Laurent and Hextall uh, maneuvering around a bit. Now finally seem to be where they want to be and the play will get underway. Or will it? They still battle for position. Then Hextall won the draw. And Cameron just cleared it all the way down the ice, but it goes right to Dryden. He has to stop it, so there's no icing. Puck cleared along the boards. Polonic's trying to hold it in, kicked it into the corner. Larry Robinson played it back toward the line, knocked away. Here's Cameron with a shot, and it deflected high over the glass behind the Montreal goal. Bruce? As Al Cameron had a chance. Right, Bruce and I was going to say the maneuvering that was done down in the Detroit zone before the faceoff, that's a set play they have. If Hextall can win the faceoff, they shoot the puck straight up through center ice and try to break the centerman up and, and catch the two-point man in too deep. But the pass didn't quite work. It went right to the net, but Detroit's still in their zone for a faceoff. Well, off to the right of the Montreal net, puck came out center ice. Harper waited till his team came back on side, then scooped it back into the Montreal zone. Robinson being chased by Polonich. Ganey will bring it out on the left side. His pass at center ice to Houle, now to LaRouche. Pierre LaRouche back to Houle and coming back. Harold Thompson checking. It's going to be a penalty coming up against Thompson. He'll go off for hooking as he tied up the Canadian player. So Canadians will have the extra man now. There's a pause in the action with a game tied 1-1. We'll be back in a moment. So... The Red Wing player, Errol Thompson, goes off for hooking at 4 minutes and 29 seconds. This game coming to you from Detroit. Olympia Stadium, it is tied 1-1, but now Montreal with a power play advantage. Errol Thompson had to hook the player to stop him from having a clear shot chance at the net. Houle was breaking right through the middle, and Errol just got his stick tied up under his arm and pulled him down, got a hooking penalty. Face-off will be to the left of Ron Lowe. In the first period, Detroit outshot Montreal, 9-7, and seven, each team with a power play goal. Now Canadians have a power play chance. Here's Lafleur back on the right side, knocked away by Paul Woods. Dale McCourt couldn't reach that puck as it bounced loose. LaRouche picked it up. Two of the Canadians go back in. The play onside. LaRouche took the shot, and Lowe knocked it away. Play was very close to being offside. Detroit scooping it back down the ice. And they've used up 20 seconds of the... Power play, Montreal in their own zone. Now it's Lafleur heading out again, coming out center race, stick handing his way. His left side pass to Steve Shutt, back to Lafleur. Lafleur takes it to the corner, heads in behind the net, put it out in front, and Houle fanned on it. That puck loose, and it slid right to the goal, and Ron Lowe, losing his balance, ended up on top of it. Then Canadians were dangerous. Well, I think the puck went off Bergman's toe and just about went in the net. It was a play that 
didn't appear as though it was going to be dangerous, but then finally got kicked around out in front of the net. And I'm sure it was Bergman as uh, the anxiety to get the, the play away from the front of the net, kicked it, and Ron Lowe had to be quick. Harper and uh, Tommy Bergman, the two defensemen for Detroit, McCord and Woods. McCourt won the draw, and Harper clears it down the ace. A minute and ten seconds remaining in the penalty time to Errol Thompson. Guy Lafleur in behind his own net. Now Lafleur starts out. His pass on the left side to Guy Lapointe. Lapointe bringing it to the Detroit blue line. Lapointe trying to work away from Harper and moving in too quickly. Rajon Hole that time was offside. And they'll come back out over the Detroit blue line with 58 seconds left in the Detroit penalty time. There's probably not enough said about how well Harper and Bergman have played on the Detroit defense. Two veteran hockey players. Bergman, uh, most of his experience uh, playing in Winnipeg, but he did play in the National League right here in Detroit prior to coming back. But they stand up at that blue line and break the Canadians up right at this, before they can get in as often as they possibly can. I thought the Canadians kind of changed their tactics. They started to shoot the puck into Detroit zone and move in and make the wings make mistakes deep. And it was after the penalty to bonus that the Canadians seemed to start catching their, getting their stride and, and start carrying the play to Detroit. Prior to that, Detroit appeared to have the best of it. And it was during Bonas's penalty, of course, that shut scored to tie the hockey game and the entire Montreal bench cleared and uh, went out to congratulate Steve Shutt, which I think is a little psychological thing in reaction to the big crowd here at Olympia. Now the puck goes back into the Detroit zone, going in after Tommy Bergman. Bergman wrapped it along the boards and it got by Guy Lapointe and down the ice it goes. And now there are 40 seconds remaining in the Detroit penalty time as Guy Lafleur's in behind his own net. Lafleur starts out for Canadians ahead now to Lemaire. Lemaire coming out center ice. Lafleur on the right side into the Detroit zone. He's fired the shot. That deflected off Bergman right to the goal. But it was stopped by Ron Lowe. Dug away by McCord and he shoots it back into the Montreal end. 15 seconds remaining in the penalty. Canadians Larry Robinson. His pass hit the referee, picked up by LaFleur. Back into the Detroit zone, right out in front, and he shot high and wide. Cornoyer dug it off the boards. Back on the left point to Guy Lapointe. And his pass was tipped away by Dale McCord. A race for it, and Dryden came way out of the net to play it back to center ice, and it's offside from Dryden's pass as it hit a Canadian player. And the penalty is over, and Thompson is back on. And the Wings did a tremendous job of pulling off that penalty to keep this score one to one. Well, I think I had a dozen people come up and ask me to say happy birthday to this person or that, and we just have too many. I'm not even going to try it, but you and I have several friends out there in the parking lot and what a job they do amongst the uh, trying conditions. And a bunch of the folks out of the Cox Instrument Company around Detroit are listening to the radio broadcast, watching the telecast, and Tom, who... One of the harder workers in the parking lot said, say hello to my buddies, won't you? Good. We have to say hello, too, to, to John Barnes. John and Mary are listening, and John had another little setback, Bruce, and uh, John's in the hospital, but Mary told me today that he listens to all the games, so uh, I think John uh, possibly has a crush on one of those nurses yet because <laughs> he, won't he leave. just won't leave there. Ken Dryden wants a new goaltender stick, and so Savard goes to get him one. Teams are back at full strength. The penalties are all even at seven aside. And each team has a power play goal as it is tied 1-1, and we've played six and a half minutes of the second period. San Lara, Thompson, and Polonitz for the wings. San Lara, Jarvis actually won the draw, played it back to his own net, and Dryden hands it off to defenseman Savard. Now Savard clearing it back to Jarvis at center ice. It skipped away, goes back into the Detroit zone. Hamel and Chartraw went after it. Chartraw dug it out. He's being checked by Hamel. It's still loose. Jarvis sends it back now to Savard. To Jarvis, turning out in front. He got a shot away. It deflected wide. Going in after it is Hamel. He tipped it ahead to San Lara. San Lara, long pass on the right side. Off the stick of Polonich and Risebro came back to clear it back into his own zone. Wing shoot it back out center ice. Larson holds it there. His pass behind San Lara. He dug it away, but Chartraw tied him up. Now Savard starts back out from Montreal. His pass too far. Hamel sent it back to San Lara. Hamel is dumped and Chartraw went to the ice. Puck still loose at center ice. Canadians clear it. Now moving with it is Riseborough back into the Detroit zone. He took the shot. Hamel went low and blocked that. Riseborough came up with it again. San Lara gets into it. Reed Larson in behind his own net. 
crowd coming to life again. Pass coming out to Polonich. Here's Dennis Polonich heading over the line. And the play was broken up by Larry Robinson. Tamel was shoved off the puck. There's going to be a penalty coming up to Reinsbrough. And now the Red Wings are going to have the extra man as the play is called. And Detroit now will gain a power play opportunity in this one-to-one -one hockey game. So a pause in the action. The score is just that. Detroit one, Montreal one. We'll return in just a moment. Riseboro deserves this penalty. He tried to just wrap a stick around John Hamel's head, and uh, John Hamel got knocked down real hard just earlier in that. Riseboro came back and just really run over him from behind with a stick right up across the back of his neck. So Riseboro's off for high sticking at 7:53. Play in the Montreal zone. Here's Hextall digging it out of the corner. He was checked right there. That puck in among skates. Ganey got into it. Still, there's no whistle. And Ganey got a stick on it and drove it down the ice. It goes off to the side of the Detroit goal with Ron Lowe, stopping it for Tommy Bergman. Bergman played it away from Ganey. Now it's pass broken up by Lemaire. Libet covered up, sent it back to Bergman at the Detroit blue line. That's center ice. Nick Libet fires it along the boards in behind the Montreal goal. It came off to Ganey, and he shoots it down the ice. And they've used up 30, 40 seconds now of the penalty. And the Wings start out of their own zone. McCourt's pass too far out in front of Nedimanski. Dump back in. McCourt will bring it out. Dale McCourt, a good move away from Ganey into the Canadian zone, and his shot deflected wide. A puck bounced back to the line. Tommy Bergman. He dumped it to the corner again. Nick Libet played it to the opposite corner. Hextall goes in with Savard. But Savard came up with a puck and it's cleared all the way down the ice. And Ron Lowe stops it again. Now Lowe hands it off to Tommy Bergman. 50 seconds remaining in the penalty. Tommy Bergman. Center ice pass to Hextall. Now to Nedimanski. He wound up for a shot. Dryden really had to move quickly to grab that. Savard lifted it up into the crowd. There's going to be a penalty coming up to... No, they're going to call Hextall, I guess. I thought he was going to call Savard for throwing it up into the crowd, but it was Hextall that added an elbow, I guess, to yeah. Savard. I believe he got his elbow up on Savard's face just as Nedimansky had really rifled one from inside the blue line. Let me tell you, goaltenders in this league have to be sharp. Dryden just threw the big glove out and that puck was shot from probably 50 feet. Had it been on the other side of the net, it's hard to say how Dryden would have reacted because it was shot so hard, but it was on his glove side. But Hextall wound up, wound up getting the penalty, so... Savard actually just went in and lifted that puck up into the crowd to kill the pressure. And it was just about then that Hextall hit him. So a high-sticking call at 9.14 to Hextall. Well, Hextall came in and he got his stick up and pushed him into the into the boards or into the back glass. Uh, Savard had dumped the puck up over the glass. Two, three years ago, that would have been an automatic penalty. Yeah, that's right, for delaying the game, for throwing the puck out of the playing surface. Now the play with each team short a man. Reed Larson from the blue line, a shot that never got through. Larry Robinson takes it in behind his own goal. In a half a minute now, the Canadian player, Risebro, will be out. Montreal will have the extra man. Reed Larson at center ace, his pass behind San Laurent. And the Canadians are at their own blue line. Nairop turning it back to Larry Robinson. Now Robinson comes out center ice. San Laurent chasing him. Send it over on the left side. Nairop shooting it in behind the Detroit goal. The game is tied at one to one. Reed Larson in behind his own net. Now Larson starts out. Larson handing it off to San Laurent. Center ice. He drops it back for Harper to Larson into the Canadian zone. Larson pulled up. And his pass deflected up into the crowd behind the Montreal net. Bruce, I just got a report. It could be bad news. Uh, Greg Jolly has been taken to the hospital with a suspected fracture of his left wrist. And that must have happened probably early sometime during the first period. I'm trying to remember if he played here early in the second period or not. The Wings, of course, going with six defensemen. And Greg but. Jolly is one of the better puck carriers for the Detroit Hockey Club. And Let's hope that it's not as they fear it is, a fractured left wrist. Canadian penalty is over now, and Hextall has a minute and 14 seconds of his penalty time remaining. It's Paul Woods and McCord on as penalty killers, and Guy Lafleur streaking up the ice, three on to the Canadians. Over the line, Lafleur, he was checked by Reed Larson, and Larson kicked the puck all the way back out center ice. Good defensive play. Now the Canadians' hool winds up at his own blue line again. 
Fool's pass on the right side. Larson bumped into shot. Paul Wood slides it back into the Montreal zone. Going back after it, Lafleur. 45 seconds left in Hextall's penalty. Lafleur flying over the line again. Guy Lafleur bumped, knocked down, knocked off the puck, and a good check by Paul Woods, who's all over the ice. Here's Woods going after the loose puck. And, oh, Lafleur took a slash at him, and there'll be a penalty coming up to Guy Lafleur. He even lost his stick when he really took a swing at Woods, and you don't think Woods has Lafleur frustrated? So there is a pause in the action. The game is tied at 1-1, and we'll be back in just a moment. Well, it was Paul Woods that really got a piece of Lafleur. The puck came out center ice, and Woods outraced Lafleur for it, picked it up, and Lafleur came down with a two-hander. I would venture to say that this is one of the few times in his hockey career that he'd come awful close to running into a freight train when he was making a move inside the blue line. Paul Woods is a... He just flies out there, and he was willing to trade bodies with Lafleur, and Lafleur was not completely off balance. His stick was knocked out of his hand. When he picked it up, he turned around, and he found that Paul Woods had the puck and was trying to break away, and then he just chopped Paul Woods and wound up getting a penalty for it. And then he threw a stick. Now, he could be, actually, could have been given a second penalty. I don't know if the stick was broken or not, but uh, this is one of the forbidden rules or forbidden things in hockey, throwing your stick after a play had been called. Well, somebody amongst this crowd has thrown something down on the ice, and uh, it was uh, thrown from just the short distance behind the glass. So the ushers and some of the police moving in to remove whoever did that. And that's what they're going to have to do. Uh, they'll get this stopped because every time there's a something exciting happening on the ice uh, they decide to throw something well and the crowd is uh, believe it or not cheering the police right. and the ushers as they do just that they usher whoever threw it out looks to be an egg or something they're doing a lot of more work than just picking up the pieces i made mention of it a little while ago it might bear repeating said that the last time that the red wings beat Montreal in playoff hockey here at Olympia Stadium in Detroit was 22 years ago, 1956 in April. Kind of hard to believe, isn't it? Yes. They took somebody out of the building. Yes, I, it's hard to believe. Uh, 22 years ago, I was going to say in 1966, when I was here, we went into Montreal and won the first two games, but we that didn't win it. a game here. That's right. Face off in the Montreal zone. Now there's a half a minute left in Hextall's penalty. Then Detroit will have the extra man for about a half a minute, or for a minute and a half. Here now is Ganey moving his way into the Detroit zone, being checked by Tommy Bergman. Puck stayed loose in the Red Wing end. Paul Woods gets into it. They hold it to the boards. It's Errol Thompson. And the face off to the left of the Detroit goal. It's Thompson and San Leroy, the two Detroit forwards. There are 15 seconds remaining in Hextall's penalty. And when he comes on, a minute and a half will be left in the penalty time to Guy Lafleur. Dale McCourt comes out now. He'll replace San Laurent. Taking the face off to the left of the Detroit net. He'll go in against Jarvis. The game remains tied at 1-1 with nine minutes to play in the second period. Puck came to the circle, knocked away by Earl Thompson. He got it out center ice. Hamel just couldn't get to it. Ganey shot it back into the Detroit end. Goes in after. Took a shot. Low knocked it away. It's gloved into the opposite corner by Hamel. Hamel trying to get to it. Jarvis had him pretty well tied up. Thompson, though, will come up with it. Bringing it out center ice to Hextall, who just came out of the penalty box. Here's Thompson digging after it and coming way out of the net. Dryden played it away from him and shoots it all the way into the Detroit zone. Going after it, John Hamel. Now Detroit with the extra man for a minute and ten seconds. The play picked up by the wings. Dale McCord at his own blue line. Now McCord away from Ganey's check. Here's McCord still with that puck into the Canadian zone. Ganey knocked it away. And Lemaire picks it up, shoots it back into the Detroit zone with a minute left in the penalty. Game tied at 1-1. The wings start out. Dale McCord takes Tommy Bergman's pass. Played it back to Bergman at center ace. On the left side, off the skate of Nick Libet. And the Canadians, Lemaire has it, played it into the Detroit zone. Hamel and Hull, the puck went right through the goal crease in the Detroit end. And it'll be taken by Dale McCourt. Lemaire checked him, McCourt picked it up again. Now to Hextall, and the play whistle down offside as the pass covered two lines. And they'll come back inside the Detroit blue line for the faceoff. 
with 35 seconds remaining in the penalty to Guy Lafleur of Montreal. And this is a very well played Stanley Cup playoff game. Both teams are going up and down their wings, playing it a little on the cautious side, but there's a lot of heavy bumping, a lot of good skating. Uh, the wings uh, haven't just probably as many good chances as uh, the Canadians have. Ekstall, Nedimansky, and Libet, they accounted for the only Detroit goal thus far. John Hamel made a good play when they tried to cut in around the outside of him, and he pushed the player off the puck and into the wall back in behind Ronnie Lowe. Ekstall, Libet, and Nedimansky, but the Canadians win the draw, and they brought it back in as it bounced over the blue line, brought it back in offside. So this time, the faceoff comes out over the Detroit blue line, and... 32 seconds remaining in the Canadian penalty. Puck came loose at center ice, and Canadians LaPointe picks it up, shoots it back into the Detroit end. Al Cameron goes back after it. Now Cameron, his pass coming up to Hextall. Hextall moves out center ice. Dennis Hextall played it back to Cameron. He shot it to the Canadian line. It was knocked down there. They scramble after it, and LaPointe picks it up and just dumps it back into the Detroit end, and seconds remain. In Lafleur's penalty, Reed Larson now to Nedimansky. Nedimansky down the left side, over the line, with the shot, and Dryden stopped it. And it's dumped ahead. Lafleur is out of the penalty box. He picks it up. He played it now to Rajon Houle. He wound up for a shot. Cameron came back and deflected it, and it just popped in the air to the Detroit goal, and Lowe stops it there. So the game is tied. A pause in the action with a score one to one, and we'll be back in just a moment. Very evenly played period of hockey. It's been an evenly played hockey game, and the score of one to one would indicate it. Nedimansky whistled a shot just before we took the brief timeout, and Dryden had to move sharply to block that. Faceoff now stays to the right of the Detroit goal. Dennis Hextall goes in against Lambert. Puck came back outside. There's a shot knocked down out in front of the Detroit net. Lambert and Reed Larson bump heavily into the corner. Hextall goes after the puck. They jammed it to the boards. It goes in behind the Detroit net with Tommy Bergman in after it. He pulled away from Pierre Mondu. Now with Lambert working on him, he played it out center ice. And the Canadians take it there. Guy Lapointe. It's tipped into the Detroit end. Going into the corner, Reed Larson. Lambert in after him. Larson overskated it. It's dug out by Mondu and tipped away from him. Now a quick pass by Tommy Bergman was behind Livet. And the Canadians LaPointe. It's knocked down by Nedimansky at the Detroit line. Turning back in his own zone, he played it to Tommy Bergman. Bergman's pass hit a stick. Here's Libet picking it up, carrying into the Montreal zone. Libet rolled it out in front of the net. It was knocked away. Libet has it a second time in the corner to Nedimansky. He played it back to Libet with a shot. He scores! And the Wings lead it 2-1. to one. And this time, the Detroit club comes off the bench. What a beautiful play. Nedimansky in the corner, back out to Libet. Libet took a shot. Nedimansky got it, put it back out to him, and he didn't miss in the second one. He put it just inside the post. He driving cleanly. Nedimansky with the pucks in the corner, and he puts it right out on Libet's stick. And Libet shot the puck from 35 feet. It could be that Dryden was partially screened, but it beat him cleanly. Hextall was right at the edge of the crease. I don't think Hextall touches this puck. He got knocked away by Nyrob, but it's in the net, and Hextall's trying to get his arms up. Libet had his arms up. It was Hextall tying up the defenseman Nyrob, and I don't right. think uh, I don't think he Dryden could it. see it. I don't believe Dryden could ever see it with Hextall. Right no, I don't believe he did either, Bruce. And let me tell you, this crowd is standing and applauding. And again, they have thrown numerous articles out onto the ice, including. Oh, what a run there must have been an octopus. Nick Libet will get his second goal of this hockey game and his third of the playoffs, and Detroit will go into a 2-1 to one lead. Well, the play went back out from the corner of Nedimansky to Libet, and Libet shot from over off the wrong wing. I don't think Dryden, although I think Dryden should have been able to see it. The Hextall and Nyrob were off a little bit to the side, and he just beat him cleanly with a shot just inside the post on his, not on his glove side, on the opposite side, which would be the left side of the net when Libet was shooting at it. And Libet was shooting from the right side. 
Livet from Nedimansky at 13.48. So there is again a pause in the action with a score. Two to one Detroit. We'll be back in just a moment. Along with Sid Abel with you from Olympia Stadium in Detroit. From the faceoff, play goes deep into the Detroit end. They jam the puck in the corner. Off to the left of Ron Lowe. And the faceoff will stay in the circle to the left of the Detroit net. Two to one. Detroit leads. Nick Libet with two goals. Now the Wings, a quick player change as they have Woods with McCord and Lahead out there. And this is the line that Bobby Crom has been playing out against the Lafleur, Lemaire, and Shut line. And I think the big reason is Paul Woods facing Lafleur head to head or nose to nose. Face off to the left of the Detroit net. Puck came back to Lafleur. He tipped it to the line. Savard with a shot and a big save by Lowe. He knocked it away. A loose puck. And Lowe got a glove on that and sent it into the corner. Harper's going to get a penalty. They go into the corner after it. Hold it along the boards. And Terry Harper will go off. And he's not going to like this. Actually, the Canadian player skated right over him. But Harper was down and sent him up into the air. Well, I believe McCauley had to call a penalty on the play. The wings got the bad break as when the puck deflected off Lowe's pad, bounced out to Paul Wood, and he couldn't get a stick on it. And sure enough, it wasn't Lafleur. I think it was Lemaire had a little bad angle shot, and he flipped it over the corner, and that made Harper tie up his player and get a penalty. Call it a holding penalty. So Terry Harper, veteran of many a game in the Stanley Cup playoffs goes off for holding at 14 minutes and 15 seconds. The penalty's all even at nine aside. Face off deep in the Detroit end. Dale McCord in against Lemaire. Puck goes into the corner, and Reed Larson went in and tied up his man. Steve shut, and the wings fire it down the ice. It goes in behind the Montreal goal, a point in after it. Playing it back to Lemaire, out on the right side to Larry Robinson, the big defenseman over the line into the Detroit zone. Robinson trying to go around. Tommy Bergman centered it, and Paul Woods is right there. And he picks it off and shoots it down the ice. A minute and a half left in Harper's penalty. Now a bad Canadian pass came out center ice. Back after it is McCord. He handed it away. Here's going in Lemaire, and Ron Lowe stopped him as Lemaire went right in on top of him. Still, the Canadians have the play in the Detroit zone. Lafleur turns in a circle with it. Guy Lafleur back on the line to Larry Robinson. He took the shot and it went wide. Lafleur digs it out of the corner. Paul Woods knocked it away. Lafleur digs it a second time, skating it back toward the line. Now here's a short pass to Robinson on the other point. Guy Lapointe with a shot. Lowe made the save. Tommy Bergman sent it to the board. Lemaire has it there. Now Lemaire put it out in front. It goes to the far side. Larry Robinson off the side of the net, right out in front of the floor. And he shot it over the top of the goal. Woods trying to take it out. There's going to be a penalty coming up to the floor. As he chopped at Woods, another chop at Woods. The play goes into the Detroit zone. And still on the delayed call, the wings bring it out. Here's Reed Larson over the line. His centering pass broken up, and now the penalty will be called. And the wings. Get a good break there with 29 seconds to go as Lafleur argues the call. Lafleur La, La is furious, but he deserved the penalty, and Paul Woods was so mad that he went back at him to try and check, and they had a little wrestling match, but the penalty had been called long before that happened. You know, if the way Ron Lowe held his ground on the breakaway is just remarkable. He stayed right in the center of the net, he made two or three excellent saves of this drive that the Canadians had on. I'll tell you something, Dale McCourt played that very casually, and he just laid it right onto the stick of Lemaire. A high-sticking call to Lafleur at 15:46, and he has been frustrated. He's too great to hold down very long. But Paul Woods has had him going in circles. Well, they have him talking to himself, and when a player starts getting upset. It was just a case of Paul Woods trying to break out, and Lafleur really laid the lumber on him way up high, and the referee signaled for the penalty right the minute it happened. But the play, Detroit had possession of the puck, so it didn't stop. So, he took uh, another whack at him at center ice a little bit later. So Harper has 29 seconds remaining in his penalty as Lafleur joins him in the penalty box. Each team short a man. 
Puck came to the Detroit line. San Laurent brought it back into the Canadian zone, took a shot, tried and kicked it away. Here's Errol Thompson. He couldn't get to it. And the Canadians start out. It's Bob Ganey moving into the Detroit end. He fired a shot and Lowe grabbed that and he made a good save on it as Ganey had it really whistling to that Detroit net. Well, Bruce, both Detroit goaltenders have, are playing hot hands. Rutherford and Lowe have been hotter than a pistol. Ganey really unloaded one here, and Ronnie Lowe had to be real quick with his gloved hand. It was on the corner. 12 seconds remaining in Harper's penalty. When he comes out, a minute and a half will be left in the penalty time to Lafleur. The game is 2-1 to one Detroit. We have 3 minutes 57 seconds to play in the second period. Puck goes into the corner, and the here comes a penalty to Detroit. Ganey was sent down out in front of the net. I'll tell you, John McCauley is really calling him. Al Cameron just barely made a move, turned around, and Ganey went to the ice, and Cameron goes in. And that's dangerous, because the Canadians now will be playing 6-4 to four in the faceoff deep in the Detroit end. And you can't give them that much ice because they can, although there's one advantage, or I shouldn't say advantage, the fact that Lafleur will not be on the ice. He's in the penalty box. He is the man that is real dangerous on plays like this because he handles the puck so well. They called it interference to Cameron at 16.07. He was just making a play, turned around on the puck, and in doing so, Ganey went to the ice, and Cameron goes to the penalty box. Well, Harper will be out in, what, eight seconds, so yep. that should help. Could be causes if they can win this faceoff. Dennis Hextall is the only Detroit forward. Tommy Bergman and Reed Larson, the Canadians, are short one man. Jarvis in against Hextall. Got LaRouche in shooting position. Puck came back to LaRouche and he shot wide. Rebound hit the referee. Here's Jarvis taking it out of the corner, dumped it out in front. Puck is still loose, knocked away, and Hextall picks it up. Dennis Hextall at center ice. Harper's on, and the pass just failed to get to him. Guy Lapointe covered up. He played it ahead now. LaRouche bringing it into the Detroit zone. It came to Jarvis offside. And they'll bring it back out over the Detroit blue line. So a minute and 19 seconds remaining in the penalty time to Lafleur of Montreal. And there'll be another 20 seconds left in the penalty to Cameron when Lafleur comes back on. Just a touch more than three and a half minutes to play here in the second period. I see they've posted the first out-of-town score, Bruce. Boston 2, Chicago nothing. That game has been played in Chicago with Boston ahead of the series 2 to nothing. Face off out over the Detroit line. Each team short one man. Libet and Hextall out for Detroit. And it's Lemaire. And now Houle, the two forwards for Canadians. Rajan Houle heading to the Detroit blue line. Checked there by Tommy Bergman. Savard picks it up. He's got Robinson clearing it off the mare's stick. Hextall brought it back out center ice. Left it there for Livet. He turned it back to Tommy Bergman. Now to Hextall. It skipped away from him, but Livet picks it up. Nick Livet dropping it back at the Detroit line. Reed Larson giving it now to Tommy Bergman. Tommy over the line into the Montreal zone. Put it out in front. Hextall was there, but couldn't get to the pass. Now the Canadians come back. Lemaire's pass stopped by Libet. Libet cleared it to Tommy Bergman. Now to Hextall. He overskated it. Picked it up again. Hands it back to Bergman. Tommy Bergman to Larson. Reed Larson sent it off to the line. It came back center ice, and Larson has it there. Reed Larson still turning with it. He played it to Libet, but he held up on the pass, and Libet went in offside. So they come back out center ice for a faceoff with now two minutes, 42 seconds to go. They have turned on some television lights down there in the corner where the Zamboni machine comes out, and that's going to bother sufficiently to the point, I am sure, the official will tell them to turn them off. I would think that would bother Ron Lowe because uh, he's the one that has to be looking in that direction. I don't even know why they'd have them on down there. Now they do turn them off as the veteran linesman Neil Armstrong is going over there to tell them to do it. I say they're television lights. I would think they are. They're very bright, anyway. Face off in the center ice zone. 28 seconds left in Lafleur's penalty. 49 in Cameron's. Harper played the puck back into his own zone to Jean Hamel. Ahead now to San Laurent. He turned it back to the Detroit line. San Laurent's pass broken up by Ganey, and then San Laurent picks it up again. 
Cleared it behind Paul Woods. Woods goes back after it. Back into his own zone. He gave it to Hamel. Now to San Laurent. To Woods. Woods moves out. Here's Paul Woods from the blue line with a shot that Dryden stops. Clearing in behind his own goal. Nyrop lost it to San Laurent. Back on the line to Hamel. His shot was blocked. And now Lafleur is back on. Here's a quick pass to Lemaire. Going over the line. Trying to work in. And he was checked from behind. And the Canadian bench is screaming. And they should be. Oh, I'll tell you, that even could have been a penalty shot. He was hooked by San Laurent all the way down the ice, and he would have been in alone if he hadn't been. Now the Red Wing player Cameron is back on, and the puck is scooped back into the Montreal zone. Going in behind his own net is Guy Lapointe. The teams are at full strength. The Wings got a big break a moment ago. Lemaire was in cold, and he was hooked two, three times going in. Tommy Bergman in behind his own net. Swinging it out on the right side now for Errol Thompson. Coming out center ace. Thompson shoved off the puck. And now the Canadians come back. Over the line is LaFleur. He was stopped by Tommy Bergman. Paul Woods, a right side pass for Errol Thompson. It's picked up again by Woods. Here's Woods trying to work his way in. LaFleur stopped him. Now moving out with it is Larry Robinson. He handed it off to LaRouche. LaRouche cutting off to the side of the net and Tommy Bergman knocked it away. LaRouche digging it out of the corner. Back on the line to Savard. Savard with a shot and Woods went low and blocked that. Puck stays and it's slashed down the ice by Woods. And it will go far enough for an icing with about 52 seconds remaining to be played in the second period. Uh, let me tell you, this young Detroit hockey club is here for keeps. They just keep working and working. Paul Woods just went flying out there to block the shot on plays that are real dangerous when the puck comes back out to the point. It seems that every other Canadian runs to the front of the net, hoping that it'll be screened, but Paul Woods just dove out in front, blocked it enough so that they could get it down the ice, even though it is an icing, to give them a chance to get a breather and make a line change with Hextall and Libet coming out. I'll tell you, though, Sid, if Lemaire wasn't in alone that time, and uh, it took a very questionable lack of a call. Well, Bruce, they didn't pull him down. Had he fallen, or if he'd have just let himself go, I think there would have been a yeah. penalty. Jean Hamel gave him the best hook of all, and then he got hooked on him real good, but, Hamel, uh, but Lemaire didn't fall. He stayed on his feet. Had he flopped right out in front of the net, there would have been a penalty <laughs> and possibly a penalty shot. Well, I still think it could well have been a penalty, and the Wings did uh, get a pretty good break on it. It was a terrific play by Hamel, I must say that. Yeah. He didn't get a penalty. He stopped the shot of the net, and the Wings are still ahead 2-1. to one. Face off to the left of Ron Lowe with 51 seconds now to go in the second period. Here's Natomansky clearing it to the blue line, but not out. It was kept in, moving in. Savard with a shot that sailed over the top of the net. LaRouche dug it out of the corner to Rajan Houle, a centering pass. Lowe knocked it away, and it's dug away by Larson. He didn't get it out. Savard stopped it. Now Cornway, a centering pass. Harper knocked it away to the blue line. Kept in by Savard. Goes in behind the Detroit goal. LaRouche in after it. Harper checked him. The puck came to the side of the net. And Ron Lowe reaches out and holds it there. 26 seconds still to go in the second period. Detroit leading Montreal 2-1. to one. And Paul Woods off the Detroit bench. And he will replace Nedimanski. Well, they've got a sign up here that says, don't forget Perry Miller, the young fellow who played so well for Detroit until he broke his shoulder late in the season and helped the Wings certainly get into the playoffs. And Perry will be joining Sid between the second and third periods live from here in our broadcast booth. Face off to the right of the Detroit net. Dennis Hextall in against Lemaire. Buck was a not drop. It was dropped finally. They whistled it down. With a couple of players moving into the circle again. Libet and Shutt have been doing quite a bit of that. Now it is dropped. Hextall won the draw cleanly, but Harper didn't get it out. Lafleur is checking in along the boards. It came back toward the line. Larry Robinson went after it. His pass, though, broken up by Harper. And Terry Harper shot it down the ice again. And there will not go far enough for an icing. Canadians had to go back and play it. Larry Robinson after it. Now Robinson moving with it. Five seconds to go. He just took a long shot. Low stops that. Harper takes it in behind his own net as the buzzer goes to end the second period. And this crowd on its feet and making noise as the Red Wings head to the dressing room with a lead in the hockey game. Two to one. 
That's the end of the second period. We'll return to Olympia Stadium in just a moment. 